Hey, everybody. Christian Harloff here. And summer is almost over, but it doesn't have to be just yet. Because as it winds down, one thing you don't have to really worry about is what am I going to cook? What am I going to cook? Oh, man, I got to cook some stuff up. You don't have to do that because I'm going to give you some great stuff to cook because Butcher Box. Butcher Box is awesome. You heard me talk about it before, and I'm going to talk about it again. Whenever you need a great tasting meal that you can trust, Butcher Box, it's there. It's got you covered. It delivers humanely sourced meat of your choosing, and it puts it right at your doorstep. You get options like 100% grass fed and finished beef, free range organic chicken, humanely raised pork, wild caught lobster tails, sign me up again, wild caught Alaskan salmon and sugar nitrate free bacon. Each box has nine to 11 pounds of meat, which is packed fresh, shipped frozen and vacuum sealed. Luckily, today's sponsor, ButcherBox, they're doing something pretty great. Listen to this. When you guys sign up today, ButcherBox is going to give you, ready for it, free chicken, free burgers, and hot dogs in your first box. And if you don't want the hot dogs, send them to me. It's very simple to sign up. You choose your box, what you want, and the delivery frequency. They offer five boxes, four curated box options, as well as the popular custom box. Butcher Box ships your order frozen at the peak freshness and packed it in an eco friendly 100% recyclable box. You enjoy great tasting, high quality meat, and it's delivered right at your door. I mean, the second I got this thing, I was, it, I felt like Christmas to get all these different uh, uh, chickens and, and meats, and, and I'm r- getting creative with it. I, I was had so much fun when I was defrosting it and putting the, the marinade on it. And then it, it, I'm telling you, the quality of the meat is fantastic. ButcherBox wants you to enjoy the rest of the summer with this special deal. ButcherBox has given our listeners a special offer of three pounds of chicken breast, two pounds of burgers, and one pack of hot dogs for free. Right now, new members get this special deal when they sign up at ButcherBox.com slash trivia. One more time. That's ButcherBox.com slash trivia. Chicken breast, burgers, hot dogs in your first box. Go and sign up. You should have done that already. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. And leave me some comments. Tell me what you think of it. When you got it, did you love it? What'd you make? Go ahead and comment. And then, well, now go watch the match. back ladies and gentlemen to the movie trivia showdown it is the inner geekdom tournament we are here at the scum and villainy cantina i'm christian harloff that's mark ellis mark we have a big inner geekdom match here you looked at what chance ellison just did against jeff snyder that's coming off a of singles can he take this momentum into the tournament that he won last year against a very game Moose Haas. Moose Haas is in the way of the Cobra, and Cobras, I don't know if you ever dealt with one in the wild, they do not like stuff in their way, and so what an epic match we had to play out in front of a great studio audience on Hollywood Boulevard in the shade of Popeye's Chicken Shack. And when you look at this actual matchup, Christian, it is so important for Moose Haas because if he has a good game today, if he can somehow upset Chance Ellison, what a boost for a very young career that has already shown a lot of promise. He's already shown, absolutely, the match with even though it was you and I doing commentary during it the match with him <laughs> and Amadou Moses was phenomenal to see these are two up and coming rookies that could have went either way Amadou got the W he's got himself a title shot now Moose Haas is trying to gain some points for the exchange and what a way to do it to be able to defeat the guy who won the tournament last season by beating the current IG champion, Mike Kalinowski. That's a great point. And so there's a whole lot of subplots and storylines here to maneuver as we get into this inner geekdom matchup. And for a closer look as to how we got here, enjoy this. The Finstock Exchange is the greatest faction in the Schmodown. We're the first to 20 wins and we're not done yet. In fact, the dossier is so confident that Moose Haas will be the Cobra Chance Ellison, they're gonna let me manage again. (laughs) When Parker came in, he was this unbeatable rookie and they met in the tournament and Chance took the victory and then Parker was left stewing. John Polito. And you're winner! 
any other player likely would have lost. Chance is playing out of his mind. <laughs> I, just, I, you know, I, I won the whole camera last year without even, without even thinking about it. And you know what? If I, if I could turn loose again, I'm just going to do the same thing. You're going to fall to me. And corruption will be back on top. Hello, Schmelville. Moose here. Here at my local watering hole, prepping for my live match against Chauncey Ellison. The Scum and Villainy Cantina, a bar match, is like home for me. Because I'm here entering the showdown. Well, the Moose was up trivia champion. 2001 Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Chris Columbus. 2002 Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Chris Columbus. Number number five, Empire Strikes Back. Nothing Star Wars, number six, Return of the Jedi. Return of the Jedi. What's up? Not playing that. Is that their entrance? Is it Moose, Moose Haas? A perfect game, top to bottom. And yes, Gucci's insane. Yes, he drafted a bunch of rookies, man. But as of right now, Moose Haas is exceptional at movie trivia. You know, Haas, you were hyped up big as this multi-division player. And, you know, someone who is a multi-division player, multi-division expert, uh, I gotta say, I'm a little underwhelmed. Well, look, nobody in this league can do what I can, which I can do just about anything Shannon needs me to do. I got plenty of things to do. I got plenty of points to pick up my fashion. You play Danny Valentine's Rock and Roll. Ah! And Paul Servino! Chance, you know all about that one, don't you, chump? I don't know what kind of delusions of grandeur that they built you up with, but, uh, you're the multi division player you look up to, the one in your faction, the vet. Uh, Babs couldn't even take me out, and he expects you to do that. What I want to do is I want to take that dossier, tear it up, rip it apart, <laughs> set it on fire, dump the ashes all over town that you know it's box he calls the house. <laughs> Let's not stand on ceremony, Mr. Smellison. You're playing me in the cantina of scum and villain. Well, that's perfect for me. See you there, champ. Well, there's no doubt about it. Chance and corruption, they are on a hot streak. And you have to feel confident if you're Chance Ellison and if you're Shannon, even though the win against Snyder was in the singles, still win. You're still feeling that momentum. Moose Haas is coming off of a loss. It, what, what's the training like with the exchange? Is he ready to get going? He's never played in an environment like this. We know Chance has many times over. So is that going to be a factor? We're going to find out in just a second. Moose gaining valuable experience reps, but when it comes to experience, you'd be hard-pressed to find somebody who knows more about answering inner geekdom questions than Chance, the Cobra, Ellison. This is going to be a good one. I'm ready if you're ready. I am pumped and ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Movie Trivia Schmodown. Three rounds in the e Inner Geekdom Division. Just waiting for that familiar music of the Finstock Exchange. Well, you say classic, but it's, it's Finstock. And there it is. Is he here? He's not here. He's not going to show up. No, he's probably sleeping under the bar. That's what that smell is. Yep. Patchouli. The ominous music. Moose Haas. And the question is, what part of the exchange is going to be coming out with? <laughs> Your guess is good as mine. There is the familiar music by David B. The uh, music the kicking game. in. It's getting louder. It's getting hotter. The temperature and is rising. And there's the Barbarian. The Barbarian has been there for every one of the exchange in these cantina matches. Oh, and that's the Tyrant. He's Ty got the Lee Tyrant who just him. won a match against Drew McWeeny. A big one at that. And the Barbarian punched the wall. Again, he punched the wall again. Elvis is here. Ty Lieberman. And Scarf there, is here. And there is Moose. Introducing first. Representing. The Finstock Exchange with a record of one win, one defeat. This is Moose Haas. And I hear Moose Haas with a photo. Moves. What's that photo? He's got. He's putting it on the desk of Chance Ellison. There's a 
photo a, a gift of some sort. I for don't him. know what the gift is, but his manager apparently is going to be the tyrant. He has his trademark bottle of vintage with him, and Moose looks ready and willing to compete against anyone, and he's going to have to keep that, maintain that focus, because Chance Ellison is about to take the stage. Hey, don't let psych you out. That is what don't the Cobra does. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> And there is that familiar music by the Cobra, Chance Ellison. Remember, he won this tournament last year, so now to come in here and after that massive win last week against Snyder, he's got to be feeling confident. You would think that he feels like he can steamroll anyone, particularly someone with as little experience as Moose, but Moose looks focused, but he's running in to a Cobra. Yeah, and he got him a little bit of a gift. The question is, what was the gift? We're going to find out in just a moment. But <laughs> here comes the former two-time team champion, potential number one contender, he's going to be JT coming up. But there, oh, Mike Kalinowski's with him. Kalinowski Mike and Kalinowski's Shannon Barney. with him. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing, representing Corruption with a record of four wins, three defeats. He is the 2020 Inner Geekdom Tournament winner and the former two-time movie trivia showdown team champion of the world, the Cobra, Chance Ellison! Big round of applause for Chance Yeah, Ellison. they are. They're fans of him. They're fans of corruption. They may just be fans of people who win a lot. Oh, yeah. oh. You don't. You don't. I think you got to be over here, Tuck. Oh, do I? Come over here. <laughs> just take it. Take the, t take, the, take the mic right there. We'll just do the moment. Now, Look. hang on. Last time Moose Haas had a match, you cut his mic, too. They had to listen to your jibber-jabber all through the match. Can you just give the man a microphone that works, well, please? Well, you've got one You're that works. What do you have to say? What's what do I have to say? I have to say what everyone's been thinking at home, here at the bar, and especially on the Finstock Exchange. Chance Ellison, nobody likes you. Oh. That's, that's, a, that's not... No, hell, hang, hang on. Me. Whoa. Oh, I'm so sorry. Please. Oh, yeah, I just wanted to say, I don't know. If it's his inability to make eye contact. I don't know if it's his mumbling through every answer like he's got a piece of Laffy Taffy in his mouth. And now he's got a mask on. That's great. It's not very nice. Are, are you done yet? Am I done? Yes. I'll answer that for you. You're done yet. What is your name? Ty? I am the it is I, the tyrant. Oh. Okay, Ty, word of advice, every time you open your mouth, you embarrass yourself. Oh! You want to talk about my Chance Ellison, the cobra, that nobody likes him. Ty, nobody even knows you. So, do yourself a favor, do everyone a favor, and follow Harloff's advice. Sit back and enjoy the show. Oh, Sh right. Shannon Barney, the queen, uh, taking the rook to school there. Managers taking the rook to school. getting I salty. Chance and I are just going to go grab a beer. Uh, that makes sense. <laughs> All right, well, Good. either way, the moose and the cobra are ready to do battle. Here it is, round number one in the Inner Geekdom Tournament. Hey, guys, Christian Harloff here. And look, it is not always easy when you're searching for an audio book, uh, you're searching for a podcast, and sometimes when you're looking for a book it takes longer scrolling things scrolling around looking for things and it does actually reading instead of standing in front of your bookshelf waiting for a title to jump out sign up for scribd scribd is awesome scribd when i first found out about it i started browsing around and i as i do i put in star wars and ken Napsock's book came up you pipe in what you're looking for and there's so many great options with Scribd, it's the world's most fascinating library, and it's just $9.99 a month. Explore all your interests in any format with millions of ebooks, audiobooks, magazines, and more for less than a cost of a single book. You can easily switch between titles and genres and the formats right from the app. And you can discover must-read new works from celebrated authors like Roxanne Gay, Charles Yu, and more. And it's premiering exclusively on Scribd. And right now, Scribd is offering our listeners an exclusive 60-day trial. Head on over to try.scribd.com slash trivia for your free 60-day trial. One more time. That is try.scribd.com 
dot s c r i b d dot com slash trivia and get that 60 day trial the second you sign up you get instant access to the entire library and you guys know how much i love wired well guess what wired said about them wired said that it is the netflix for books i mean right there that tells you everything that you need to know about it it's incredible it's awesome you'll love it sign up today we do have rules here, and let's start following them. Like in round number one, 10 questions will emerge from 10 different corners of inner geekdom know-how. Questions wow. are worth one point. There is no penalty for missing a question. There is no stealing. At least there isn't in round one. That'd be ridiculous, but keep it open for round two. Once we ask the question, you have 15 seconds to write down your best attempt at an answer with whatever whiteboard we just gave you. Once we do so, please, when we ask you for your answer, show both managers, the audience, the cameras, and last but not least, Christian and myself. You each have three usages of the JTE rule, named for famous Hobbit JTE. If you're not sure you heard a question right, you want to buy yourself another 15 seconds, use a Jete rule. You also each have one challenge you may utilize at any point throughout the three-round match. You may initiate the challenge. We'll bring managers in, regretfully though it may be, and they will ultimately be the ones that can fernify and rad bet. They'll figure it out. All right, well, with that, Chance Ellison, <laughs> are you ready? Let's get it. And Moose, are you ready? Where's all the Captain Morgan stuff? Did we get to take some home? Then let's get ready to Shimona! <laughs> hey. All right, here you go. Gentlemen, question number one. In the Fellowship of, from Middle Earth, in the Fellowship of the Ring, Gandalf gets angry and tells Bilbo to not call him a conjurer of what? Exact words, please. All right, so we have the two managers there. Shannon Barney in a nice leather jacket. Ty Lieberman looking like Snoke on spring break. Yeah. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, hands up, please. We start with Chance. The tricks. That is incorrect. And Moose? Cheat tricks? That's yeah. correct. Cheat yeah. tricks. Bilbo Poggins. Oh. Oh. Cheat tricks. Cheat trick. Also a pretty great band. Your next question is in the category of Marvel movies. And it is for a point. In The Incredible Hulk, what is Bruce Banner's username while communicating with Mr. Blue? So, so far, the Moose going up here by one. Your, uh, your favorite cheap trick song is? I can tell you that. Don't do it. In five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, and we start with Moose. Mr. Green. Yes, sir. Chance. Mr. Green. Two, one. Ellison on the board. And I start, we're gonna, sorry, category three is DC. In Batman Returns, what is the name of Selena Kyle's black cat? I am out at this moment. It's a great <laughs> Janet Jackson tune. What is it? Black Cat. Oh. Nine lives short, days Five, long. Four. Nine. I think you'd be the movie to respond on the music champion. Three, two, no. one. Compete. Pens down. And we start with Chance. I didn't have it. Moose. I don't know, Banksy? Or Miss Kitty. Banksy? Miss Kitty. Miss Kitty. Miss Kitty. Banksy. Miss okay. Miss Kitty. All right. No blank boards, right? No, no. I'd rather you guess than nothing. All right, Miss Kitty. And here's question four. Yes, thank you for writing down the letters, gentlemen. Your next question is in the category of animated films. And it is. Which actor who played a Spider-Man villain provides the voice of the fairy king in the film Strange Magic? And your feelings on this picture have... Changed dramatically. Seesaw. Changed dramatically. I always liked it. And you did. Uh, that is fact. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We start with Moose. Alfred Molina. Yes. Chance. Alfred Molina. There you go. Okay. So Haas Three, retains his lead by a point. And now we're going to go to the planet of the apes. What year saw the release of battle for the planet of the apes? So get this, right? Yeah. You think it's a planet that's like far off, but it's... Guess what? What? They find out at the end. Five, oh. four, <laughs> three, two, one. Pens down. And we start with Chance. 1973. Yes, Moose. Oh, 73. Yes, sir. Oh. Oh. Moose Haas and Ellison going at it 
four, three, as we get to question six. Your next question is in the wizarding world of that kid with the scar. Your question, for a point, in Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, an obscurus occurs when a child tries to repress their magical abilities, which leads to most dying before the age of what? Uh, I have a question for you. Yes. What the hell did I just read? I don't know how you did it. I don't know how you did it. I was very impressed with They both read. wrote it down like instantly. It was a great read. Five, four, very impressed with you. Three, two, one. Pens down, and we start with Moose. Ten years old? Yes. Chance. Ten. Got it. All right. All right, question seven is from Who Said It? Quotes, in which men in black film will you hear the quote? You've never been in love, have you? I'm not making fun. I'm genuinely asking. You've never once abandoned logic for passion? Kind of sounds like how you and I talk to each other. Every yeah? single Wednesday. That's right. You want the movie, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, we start with Chance. Men in Black. That's incorrect. And Men in Black 2? That the, nope. That's not it. No, Men in Black International is the answer. Sure. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here's the next one. Though. And thankfully, we have a bar separating the competitors from the question writers. Your <laughs> next question yeah. is in the world of TMNT, which I'm told stands for Ninja Turtles. And your question. Teenage Mutant. In Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, The Secret of the Ooze, as the film begins, which turtle puts a robber in a hog tie and calls himself a ninja cowboy? Now the writer's just having fun with it. We have a new competitor for my favorite question ever. Yeah, Winston wants to answer this one. No. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Pens down. Moose. Is it Mikey? It is not. And Chance? I said Mikey. Nope. Uh, looking for Donatello. Wow. As long as Winston Marshall concurs. Wow. So look at that. 5-4. We're at a yeah. just kind of like a standstill. Better better, huh? yeah. 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 a standstill right now. And here is question nine. Alien versus Predator. In the film Predators, which actor plays Dr. Edwin, who does not seem to belong amongst the group of hardened killers? All right, so we had an earlier question. Yeah. The answer was 1973. Right. What famous comedy club opened its doors in 1973? Comedy store. Ah, his Five, name's on the wall. Four, three, two, one. All right, pens down. We start with Chance. The eternally miscast Topher Grace. Yes, and Moose. Yeah, Topher Grace. Give Moose still up by one. All right, so a tough first round but nonetheless moose haas with a one point lead going into the final question mark question it will 10. be asked by me also known as topher grace's stunt double your question <laughs> fantasy science fiction is the category and the question which fantasy film begins with the line between the years when the ocean drank Atlantis and the rise of the sons of Arius, there was an age undreamed of when shining kingdoms lay spread across the world. You had a lot of fun reading. Oh my God, that felt good. I know you did. <sighs> you, you did it very well too. Yeah, I could be a thespian like I don't, Topher. I don't know about that. No, no. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, pens down. We start with Moose. Is it Conan the Barbarian. It is not. And Chance. Is it the same thing. We were looking for Conan the Destroyer! Oh! Man, so that was a crazy round. A yeah. crazy round. 6-5. Moose keeps it. They both, they miss almost entirely the same thing. Crazy Six round. to five. Either way, it shakes out. All you got to do is beat the person right next to you, and that is what Moose is currently doing by a point, surprising some folks as we get into round number two. This is the wheel round, the right. wheel of fate, doom, and justice, which could possibly destroy worlds depending on your viewpoint. Each competitor gets a spin at that bar wheel once you settle on a realm. Five questions will emerge, each one worth two points. There is no penalty for missing a question. However, stealing, tomfoolery, thievery, all is legal in round number two. So if you're not sure of the answer, we'll give you multiple choice. Four options emerge, one of which we think is the correct answer. At that point, the value of the question recedes to one. Chance Ellison trailing 
by a point. So Moose, you have the luxury. Would you like to spin first or defer to your opponent? We will be spinning first. They are right. spinning first. All right, Moose Haas. I was waiting for somebody to finally do that. All right, so Moose Haas is at the wheel. He's going to give it a spin. Go ahead, Moose, when you're ready. That's right. Just a nice little. There you go. Nice little. That's a okay. There you go. Good spin. I like that. Spin. It was a good spin. It's going to be. We'll be here a while. But going around, but it's his first. Big money, spin. big money. All right. Moose well, the question is, the thing with Moose Haas moment. is, you don't really know what his strengths are yet. You know, like he's he's so new to. He's a that, tough guy to game plan yeah. for, just because you don't have a lot of tape. Even if it lands on opponent's choice, what do you give to him? And it looks and like it could, could land on opponent's choice there, Christian. Oh. Back to Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles. Sixty seconds to decide with your manager. You're gonna take, take it. Take we'll it. Take it. All, right. all right. All right. Here we go. So Moose Haas is gonna get five questions in the realm of TMNT. Moose, here you go. Who voices Donatello in 1990s Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Corey Feldman. Two points. I love that. I love that fact. Yeah. Question two. Which comedian plays Vem Fenwick, April's co-worker in 2014's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Will Arnett. Two more points. Yeah! In Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, what gift did April get for Raphael at the flea market? A lamp. Is incorrect. And chance? There it is. In Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, what gift did April get for Raphael at the flea market? A staff. Looking for a hat. A hat. So, fedora. Fedora is the answer. Okay. Yeah, All right. Okay. Here is question number four. Okay. Stuart Wilson plays the villain Walker in which film? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, Turtles in Time. Two more points. Yes. He rebounds with knowledge of that film. All right. Final question in this round for Moose. Which character said, what would Vin Diesel do? No regrets, no fear. Five. Four, three. Let's repeat that question. First one. Which character said, what would Vin Diesel do? No regrets, no fear. Uh, I'm going to go multiple choice. Is it A, Raphael, B, Casey Jones, C, Michelangelo, D, Vern Fenwick? I'm going to go with Vern Fenwick. That's incorrect. Chance for one point steal. What character said, what would Vin Diesel do? No regrets, no fear. Is it A, Raphael, B, Casey Jones, C, Michelangelo, D, Vern Fenwick? Michelangelo. Looking for Raphael. Uh, Looking for Raphael. All right, so no steals for chance, but Moose missed two and sees himself with seven points over Ellison going into Ellison's spin. Ah, he's got one more quit. No, he doesn't. Thank you, Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Not this time. <laughs> Thought I caught you. Nope. We'll see if they can edit it out. Probably not. <laughs> Chance Ellison has all of his repeats. Yes. Moose has three left. Two left. All right, Chance Ellison is now on the wheel. Chance, go ahead and spin. All Let's right. Spin. Let's spin by Chance. Chance with the efficient spin that we here at the Schmodown appreciate. Right, so Chance Ellison is looking to pick up some points. He's down seven at the moment, but with a good spin, he can get himself back. Yeah, Chance is the kind of player who can make up a lot of ground in a hurry in round two. Coming back. The opponent's choice is looming, Christian. Oh, he got away from it. Transformers, comic book movies. Comic book, comic book, book movies, movies it, it is. is. All right, so they're going to deliberate. About 50 seconds left. That's right. 
outside if you want to take comic book movies. It you seems know. like the wheel has been teasing the crowd with opponents. Chance choice. is going to spin again. He's going to spin again. All right, he's here you go, Chance. risking fate. So he's going to spin away from comic book movies. Now, whatever he gets here, he's got to take. Go ahead, Chance, when you're ready. All right, there he goes. So now this is all or nothing here for Chance. That's right. I mean, even if he spins opponent's choice, Ellison is of the caliber of player where it does put a lot of pressure on the Finstock Exchange, just like the category they think maybe and, he'll stumble. And on. you remember, he plays with Mike Kalinowski, so they're always, always studying. You never know what, a, what used to be a weakness is now a strength. That's what know? they do. And it is... Star Wars. Star Wars movies. Star Wars. All right. Okay. All right, so Star Wars for Chance Ellison. Star Wars it is. All right, Chance Ellison, you got five questions in the realm of Star Wars. Mark, at your ready. That's right, Chance. It is now Corruption's turn as the Finstock Exchange relaxes with a nice glass of wine from a trader named Joe. It is up to you. Two points per question, unless you need multiple choice in the realm of a galaxy far, far away. Question number one. Which Star Wars character says, who's more foolish, the fool or the fool who follows him? Five, four, three. Multiple choice. For a point, your multiple choice options. Is it A, Qui-Gon Jinn, B, Mace Windu, C, Obi-Wan Kenobi, or D, Anakin Skywalker? Qui-Gon Jinn. That is incorrect. Moose, I'm going to repeat the question and the options. Which Star Wars character says, who's more foolish, the fool or the fool who follows him? Is it A, Qui-Gon Jinn, B, Mace Windu, C, Obi-Wan Kenobi, or D, Anakin Skywalker? C, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Said in A New Hope, that is correct for a point. That's a big, big steal. steal. 13 to 5. But again, there are five questions, and so Ellison still plenty of ground that he can make up. Chance, back to you for question number two. In Star Wars Episode Eight: The Last Jedi, Captain Phasma's last word to Finn is an insult calling him what? Scum. Just like the cantina we're at, scum and villainy. That is correct for two points. And it is now 13 to seven. You find yourself trailing by six. Your third question in Star Wars. In the film The Force Awakens, what is Poe Dameron's call sign during the final battle with the First Order on Starkiller Base? Black leader. That he is. Two more points. And Ellison starting to be the Cobra that we've come to expect. Two questions remain. He could tie it going into round three, but he needs to hit this penultimate question. In episode one, The Phantom Menace, to convince Jar Jar to take them to Gunga City, Qui-Gon mentions that the sound that can be heard is how many terrible things heading this way. Five. All right, your four options for a point. Is it A, one million, B, 100, C, 1,000, or D, 100,000? Five, four, three. 1,000. Is correct for a big point. 13 to 10, Ellison trails by three, so Moose is going to have the lead going into round three. Ellison can cut it to a single point with his final Star Wars question in round two, and here we go. In the realm of Star Wars, actress Aisha Darker plays what role in Attack of the Clones? Five. All right, four options. Is it A, Tan Wei, B, Madame Jocasta Nu, C, Masa Meta, or D, Queen Jamila? It's Tan Wei. You certainly can. Is it A, Tan Wei, B, Madame Jocasta Nu, C, Masa Meta, or D, Queen Jamila? Don Lee. That is incorrect, and so a repeat of the question and the options for a one-point steal. Actress Aisha Darker plays what role in Attack of the Clones? Is it A, Tan Wee, B, Madame Jocasta Nu, C, Masa Meta, or D, Queen Jamila? 
Jocasta knew. It's also incorrect looking for Queen Jamila, and the point goes to, I guess, us here, Christian, because it is now 13 to 10, a three-point lead for Moose as we head into round three. Tough scrap for both these guys yeah. right now. They're both, uh, you know, Moose had a better round two, obviously, and that's why he sees himself up by three. But anything can change in the third round. It's the final round. How's it go? In round number three, we need some help from our competitors. They're going to give us a series of numbers. These numbers may range from 1 to 16. Because this is inner geekdom, you may not pick the same three numbers as your opponent. Each number corresponds to a unique category of Schmodown inner geekdom know-how. Your first question is worth two points. Your next one is worth three points. Your final question is worth five big points. And so we go to Moose first. Moose, from 1 to 16, which three numbers do you find the most destined? 5314. Five, wedding right. anniversary to that amazing woman over there. Ah, yeah. very nice. And with that, I won the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> All right, chance? Uh, 2, 10, and 8. 2, ten. 10, and 8 for Chance Ellison. All right. So we're going to start with Chance. All right, Chance, your first category, category two, that's Marvel. Marvel for your two points. Here it is. Palm Clentaleaf plays which MCU character? I'm sorry, who? Palm. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Maybe I said it right. Hey, no, it's, it's pronunciation. It was wrong. We, we got to make sure we get the pronunciation. Right. So he's not going to repeat the full question, just the name. Yeah, just the name. Palm, K L E M E N T I E F F. Palm Clementif. Okay, Mantis. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so you're being a dick just to be a dick? Yeah. Oh, uh, you're being a dick. All right. <laughs> and your winner! All right, so, chance. Can I drink the egg water now? Yeah. <laughs> RB3, that was the best RB3 laugh ever. <laughs> that was really good. All right. So Chance Ellison, Chance Ellison gets a big two points there. Yep. And now, and now he's going to be attempting three-pointer here with category 10. Category 10, Chance, and you chose Transformers for category 10. Here's your three point question. For three points. In Transformers 2007, Sam Witwicky and Michaela Barnes are in which grade? Five. Four. Repeat the question. All right, second one. In Transformers 2007, Sam Witwicky and Michaela Barnes are in what grade? 10th grade? It's incorrect. Looking for 11th grade. Okay. 11th grade. Juniors. All right. Juniors. So here's where we stand at the moment. Chance Ellison needs to hit his five-point question. If he hits it, bounces to Moose. If not, Moose will win via TKO and advance to the second round. All right, Chance, category eight. Category eight for your five point question. Here it is. Category is graphic novels. Graphic novels. Here's your five point question chance. What 2010's film features the line, Faith, yeah, God's been real swell to me. I don't mean no disrespect, preacher, but either he ain't up there or he don't like me very much. Five. Four. Repeat the question. This third one. Yep. Last one. What 2010's film features the line, Faith, yeah, God's been real swell to me. I don't mean no disrespect, preacher. But either he ain't up there, or he don't like me very much. F 
Five, four, repeat the question. Three, two, repeat the question. What 2010s film features the line, Faith? Yeah, God's been real slow to me. I don't mean no respect, preacher, but either he ain't up there or he don't like me very much. Since they had to go for. And your winner! By way of technical knockout! Yes! Boosh! Ha! Yeah, baby! The answer was Cowboys! They're celebrating, they're destroying Grogu out of excitement here, Cowboys and the Finstock and Exchange Cowboys has pulled off a gigantic upset over Chance Ellison and Corruption. What a match it was, and Moose Haas is here to stay. And Moose Haas does it, and he pulls up a massive, massive, massive upset, beating Chance Ellison, last year's winner, TKO victory for Moose Haas. What a performance it was. Chance Ellison just stumbling into the wrong questions. He gave a great effort, as he always does. He's an A-plus competitor, but Moose Haas, everything went his way, and he was able to pull out, again, a gigantic upset victory. Maybe busting a lot of brackets, but not his, because he showed a faith in himself that is unrivaled. Well, this is something extraordinary, because Moose Haas will be going on to play Saul going to be yeah. incredible to watch. The so. tests just get bigger and bigger with every round you advance. Moose Haas versus Saul is going to happen now and unbelievable. All right, well, we are going to throw to Jillian Marie, who is standing by with Moose Haas and the tire. <laughs> Jill, I've waited a long time for you to ask me a question. Ask me anything you want. Um, yeah. Let me tell you something. Moose Haas is the winner today. Nobody believed it except me, Moose, the Barbarian, and the whole Finstock Exchange. This guy has what it takes to get to the finals of the IG tournament and win the belt at Spectacular. Are you, are you done? I don't know if I have anything more to say that he already did, but Chance, this is why I wear the shirt. Welcome to the TKO Club, my friend. It's a crap club, tell me. Or I mean, let me tell you. I mean, it's an appropriate shirt to wear. I mean, what a match, what a match, I have to say. And I feel like the crowd was kind of, because when it comes to the Finstock Exchange, not going to lie, not all people like you guys. Lots of booze happening here. You, sir, know how to work a crowd. <laughs> how fun was it performing in front of a live audience today? This was probably the most nerve-wracking but fun experience honestly i've ever had i mean I, I i didn't even know that you know today was going to go the way that it was going to go uh i mean all you can really do is, is train for it and honestly i got to give some thanks to the entirety of the finstock exchange i mean here's here's the difference between every other team we feel each other's wins we feel each other's losses and we're all there for each other brother lomas sister sarah taylor tyrant barbarian Everybody, Rager, Khan, all of you guys, Gold Leader, Gold Leader. You see that steel in Star Wars, buddy? That's you, man. So it was a great day today. I'm fired up. Uh, waitress, I will take a single and a double, maybe just in one cup, like a triple. <laughs> Sounds like a party. And now your next match, you're going to be facing Saul. Saul's, Saul's got some vengeance to prove. He's ready to show that he's got what it takes. And there's a lot of people here that would claim that today was definitely an upset on your part. So do you think you can take Saul and maybe even deliver another TKO? We'll see. Saul's a scary dude, right? I mean, you take everything match by match. All you can do is simply prepare for it. But Irish Gandalf, coming for you, pal. Uh, Ty, did you bring enough wine for the class? No, I drink all the wine. All by myself. This is only half the battle today. Chance had a bad day, and he's got more bad days up ahead. JTE is coming for Chance next, the number one contender match. If you got a TKO here today, he's going to get another TKO coming to him in a couple of weeks when JTE takes him down here at the cantina. Uh, why do I even bother? Anything else do you have to say to the crowd? JTE, I warmed him up. Knock him out, buddy. Oh, God, I'm going to need a glass of wine after this. Back to you guys at the desk. So obviously Moose Haas, very excited. The rookie does it, he beats Chance Ellison, and Ty Lieberman is just, I mean, the guy beats Drew McQueenie and he thinks that, you know, he's a, he's a five-time champion or something. But either way, very excited <laughs> that they won. And another TKO, that shirt has rung true so far this season. That's right, he uh, defeated Chance Ellison and in the process destroyed baby Grogu as well. 
And, you know, the upside to Moose Haas is that this is just the beginning of his career, which yeah. all of a sudden looks a lot brighter than it might have going into this match. I mean, I think that his bar for this match was, just let me get some good experience against a great player. He ends up winning the thing, and then, like you said, you just win another great competitor in the next round. Yeah, look, 2-1 and one going up against a guy now that is 3-2 and two with Saul. That's going to be an electric match. That is going to be something to see because only eight players in this tournament – Moose Haas is looking at potentially making it into the final should he beat Saul and awaiting that other bracket there. So this is a, this is a big win for the exchange and a massive win for Moose Haas. I had noticed when, when Moose Haas came into this league with his audition tape, I said, this is a guy to look out for, you can tell. And when the Finstock Exchange picked him up, He's working well with them, and he got himself a mat. This is a big, big win for him Yet in the exchange. another rookie yep. for the Finstock Exchange. I looked it up. Baby Grogu worth about $10,000. Make the check out to Mark Ellis. So now we turn it back over to Jilly Marie for an interview with Corruption. Chance Ellison and the Queen, Shannon Barney. I'm here with Shannon Barney and Chance Ellison. Chance, rough loss today. Another TKO by the Finstock Exchange. How are you feeling after that match? Where do you think things started to unravel for you? Uh, not good. I mean, look at that score. I played like crap and deserved to lose. But I think that, look, Haas, Haas is a good player. And I'd say I just got some things outside my wheelhouse. It happens. And now, do you think you being in three divisions had anything to do with the way you played today? You're focusing on singles. You're focusing on teams and IG. It's a lot for one player to handle. I mean, yeah, but that's the position I put myself in when you're as good as I, I mean, scored in the show. But I know I can be good at this league. I showed it last season. So, I mean, yeah, this season was my priority. Uh, but so I want to say to a little exchange, congratulations, you TKO'd me today. W wear that as like a little you know, badge of honor on your, I'm assuming you guys have sashes or whatever. But here's the thing, we, I got JTE coming in the future to maybe face me in this bar right here. How about I return the favor? Strong words from Chance Ellison, goodness. Shannon, where are your thoughts right now? What are the next steps that we're going to do with Chance over here? Look, this was a backup plan for Chance. This is not his primary division. This is not where his bread and butter is earned. Chance is a singles and teams player, and he's got a lot of work to do ahead of him. So we're regrouping, we're refocusing, and we're moving on from this. Mike has the belt, and Mike's going to keep the belt. So I'm not worried about IG. Last year, we had a great run. This year, we're still going to have a great run because we're going to end the year with those belts. And by the way, I don't know what is going on with this Ty Lieberman guy. I've never seen something so bizarre in my life. I'll tell you right now, we are in this beautiful, classy, nerdy establishment. And I swear to God, if the health department walked in right now, they would downgrade them to a B. So someone get him out of this building so we can continue our day nicely, please. Oh. The crowd loves it. Give it up for Shannon Barney. Ooh, we probably don't want to get a health inspector in here anytime soon. Please, Goodness God, gracious. No. Well, we, we do have JTE coming up, and I know you're going to have your focus on that. So good luck to you in that tournament. And here's to, here's to the, what Chance Ellison can do next. Well, now, obviously, Mark, you know, you see he's fired up. He is ready to play. He's ready to play. He's playing JTE, as he mentioned. He's coming up. He's playing JTE. That's going to be coming up in a number one contender match. That's scum and villainy. That's scum and villainy. Winner will go to New York. So... Right away, you know, she asked a great question. Was the focus of having too many divisions, is that play in? I've been around this thing for a long time and watching. Really since the beginning. Since the beginning. And watching a lot of players who play in intergeekdom teams, singles, especially at the elite level, it's a lot. And, you know, Chance did a great job today, but Moose Haas was just that much better. And a new rivalry was born between Ty Lieberman and Shannon Barney, and I'm all here for it. Did not expect to see that, but, I mean, given those two personalities, we probably could have predicted as much. What was unpredictable was Moose beating Chance Ellison, but that's the way it goes in the movie trivia showdown. Moose moves on, Chance licks his wounds and looks to face JTE for a trip to New York, being on the line. That's Christian. I'm Mark. We encourage everybody to, hey, did you hear New York? Because we'll both be doing stand-up there Thursday and Friday. He's on Friday. Maybe I'll let him on the Thursday show too. And then the big event, the movie trivia showdown is back live in a theater, Brooklyn, New York, October 9th. What show, what an event, what a competition it's going to be. Get your tickets now at the showdownlive.com and the big party of the year, the showdown spectacular number six. And it goes down on December 4th. Downtown LA, the Globe. Get on over there, check it out, theshmodownlive.com. For Mark Ellis, I'm Christian Harloff. See you next time.